In today's video, I'm going to give you five reasons to choose saving over investing because people always say invest, 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 invest. Oh, saving, you're losing money, right? And I'm going to challenge that today, even though I'm an investor and I believe in investing, but there are times in your life when you should be saving rather than investing. Hi, my name is Adrian. If you're new to the channel, this is Always Talk Money. Welcome. I like to talk money as it relates to everyday life. No get rich quick schemes, just a candid conversation amongst friends. Let's get into the video. Reason number one you should be saving over investing is if you are in debt. And this one to me is a no brainer, guys, because you can be investing in the market, getting seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 percent. But if you have a car note that you have 25, 33, 44 percent APR, trust me, it sounds made up, but there are people paying very, very high APRs on their car notes. So if you are in debt, you should not be investing, especially if you have bad consumer debt like credit cards and car notes. This is hustling backwards because let me tell you what happens. You are investing in the market. Let's say you get 10%. But if your car note is a 15% APR, you are losing 5% every single month. Even if you're looking at your investment account and you see it compounding at 10%, you are over here paying this scammy car dealership guy that you do not need to be paying. What you need to be doing is saving and paying off that car note. Once that car note is free and clear, once you saved up all the money to pay off all your debts, every single dollar that you invest and you are earning compound interest on, is automatically now profit. So do not invest if you are in debt. I didn't know that rhyme. I think that's kind of cool. I promise I didn't even know that was gonna rhyme, but give a like if you like my rhymes and subscribe as well. The second reason you should be saving and not investing is if you don't make enough money. Listen, I know you wanna invest and make returns, as I said, in the market, it's great. But what if you are barely making ends meet? You shouldn't be investing because that's going to put you in a bind. You should be saving up to try to change your situation. You cannot invest your way out of poverty. You need to bring more income in. And if you don't make enough money, investing is really not going to help you. Let me tell you why. Let's say after every single month you pay all of your bills, you can invest 50 bucks in the market or a hundred bucks in the market, something paltry like that and you earn 10% interest, okay, you earn $110. Now, a lot of personal finance people on YouTube will tell you, this is great, invest what you have. Okay, that's fine. Is $10 profit gonna change your life? It's not. I see a lot of people want to penny pinch when they're investing, and I'm not saying you have to be a millionaire to invest, but I am saying if you are below the poverty level, making minimum wage, or just barely making ends meet, you should not be investing. You should be focusing on increasing your income. Making 10% returns on $50, $60, $100 is really not going to do anything for you unless you plan to invest for 60, 70 years to get to the numbers that you need to get to. I know compound interest is powerful and I'm a big believer in it, but you have to be cognizant of the fact that even if you're making 50% returns, if that's a small amount of money, it's just not going to make a difference in your life. You want to invest to change your financial situation in a positive way. Invest when you have two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars to invest every single month. That's when you're going to see your money really snowball so you can really get to that wealth. The third reason why you should be saving instead of investing is if you do not have an emergency fund. Listen, life happens and the average American do not have $500 to cover an emergency and you do not want to be the average American. You want to be above average. That's the whole reason for watching finance videos because you want to change your situation. Not having an emergency fund and investing is also hustling backwards because what will happen? You will invest your money, do not have an emergency fund, then an emergency happen. Now you have to sell your investments most likely at a loss because time in the market is better than timing the market. So you need to be invested for a long period of time. Do not use your investment account as an emergency fund. So if you do not have an emergency fund and you know that you are going to need this money, if something bad happens, you should not be invested. The fourth reason you should be saving rather than investing is if you have a big expense coming up. Again, with the first example I gave, if you are in debt, 
a lot of people will invest but still go and get a car note. That's a big expense that's coming up. You should be saving money to pay for your car in cash. If you have a house down payment that you need, you should be saving money so you can have a strong down payment. Don't try to get a 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%, 5%, whatever programs that they have. I know first time home buyers and all of that other type of stuff, but you know what's better? Leverage. When you have leverage, you have freedom. What's freedom? Having a healthy down payment. So you should be saving as much money as you can and not worry about investing if you have a big expense like buying a home coming up or buying a new car buy those things in cash if there's anything that you're going to purchase in the next 6 12 months that requires you having to get a payment on save the money instead of investing and then taking out a loan again because you're going to be paying interest why pay interest when you should be earning interest that's not a good look now before i give you the last reason why you should be saving instead of investing could you please give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below which one of these tips are you going to use and if you made it this far in the video join the family please subscribe i appreciate it thank you the fifth and final reason why you should be saving instead of investing is volatility now as an investor i understand that there's going to be ups and downs with the market and i'm in there for the long term i'm going to dollar cost average and invest the same amount every single month month over month year over year without fail but sometimes there are unprecedented circumstances that you cannot account for and especially if you do not have an investing plan like dollar cost averaging or etfs that you trust by the way i have an etf guide that you can get in the description down below but if you do not have anything or any type of strategy like that, then you should save and hang on to your money. Do not put your money in the market if you don't understand what you're doing. Do not give your money to people that you do not know what their background is. Do not trust anyone that guarantees you 30, 40, 50% return on your money. Save your money and keep it in-house. Keep it in a bank, in a bank that you trust because we all know that banks are failing these days but keep it in a bank that you trust. Do not take unnecessary risk. If there's outsized volatility in the market or in any type of the financial services, it's better to save your money than to invest. But that's the end of the video, guys. I appreciate y'all for watching. New videos every Monday and Thursday. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the video. And until then, I will see you and I appreciate you. You guys have a great, wonderful rest of your day. Peace.